Working with dogs is an interesting and fascinating and exciting thing because, as I like to say, it feels like sometimes you're able to borrow a superpower from another animal, and in this case, it's the sense of smell. They love trying to tell us what they're finding out there, and that's what is so incredible about these dogs. My name is Julianne Ubigo. I work for the Center for Conservation Biology at the University of Washington. This is my coworker, Jasper. We have a unique program called the Conservation Canines Program. We train dogs to sniff out answers to different environmental questions for environmental researchers. <laughs> We're not a dog rescue, but we've decided long time ago not to find breeders that breed working dogs, but to find dogs that kind of need a job to do. The one characteristic that we really look for is, does, that, does this dog have the motivation to play hard all day long? And so we give hyperactive, homeless dogs a job. When an organization or an agency or a researcher comes to us saying, hey, we heard about this whole dog detection method. We're wondering if this method can be used to answer some of the questions that we're looking to find in our research. Do you think the dogs can do it? And that's usually where I say, uh, I'd like to try. <laughs> and so that's kind of what our focus has been, especially the last couple of years. The targets that we can train these dogs on are endless. It just depends on what questions people want to find answers to, and we can usually do it. Traditionally, the Center for Conservation Biology uh, has used dogs to do scat detection work, aka poop, and the scat is analyzed at the laboratory facility that is at UW as part of our center, get hormone and genetics information about the health and distribution of wildlife. We used to say that we can train the dogs to find anything that's organic, but now we can't say that anymore because we're doing PCB work, polychlorinated biphenyls, which is not an organic substance. So the dogs are proving the fact that their sense of smell can be used to help us answer a lot of different questions. And now I'm like, oh my gosh, there's these pollutants everywhere. And I can picture them going in to the waterways, going into Puget Sound, and no wonder the killer whales have high PCB levels in their, like, this is scary. What we can't see happening is still happening, and it's a frightening benefit of working with the dogs. Um, but it definitely gives us insight to some stuff that we can conveniently <laughs> be ignorant of. The one thing I love about this job is that it never gets boring. We're always trying to solve a mystery, find clues. These dogs spend pretty much every waking minute of the day with their handler, which is us. Um, work, play, leisure, they're by our sides all the time, which is a really awesome perk to this job. <laughs> Who else gets to take their dog to work every day? Like, no questions asked. 